In certain birds, green feathers, big G, are dominant to yellow feathers, little g, and long beaks, big L, are dominant to short beaks, little l. A bird with genotype, little g, little g, big L, little l, is crossed with a bird with genotype, big G, little g, big L, little l. What is the probability that one of the offspring will have green feathers and a long beak? So I always want to make sure I understand what genotypes I'm working with. So it tells me that one bird is little g, little g, big L, little l, and that that bird is crossed with another bird that has genotype big G, little g, big L, little l. So knowing that, I can make my Punnett squares. Because I'm working with two traits, I'll need two Punnett squares. My first Punnett square will be about feather color. So I have a homozygous recessive that I'll put across the top and a heterozygous bird that I'll put down the side. And now I can fill that in. My second Punnett square will be about beak length. So I've got a heterozygote across the top and a heterozygote down the side. And I'll fill that in. Now let's look at our question. It wants to know the probability that one of the offspring will have green feathers and a long beak. So I'll be working with fractions. So green feathers is the dominant trait. And so I can see that two of the four boxes have a dominant allele and would have green feathers, so two out of four is a half. It also has about long beaks, so long beaks is also the dominant allele. I can see that three of the four boxes received at least one dominant allele, and so three of the four show offspring having long beaks. Now I need to take the fraction that I got from each Punnett square and multiply them together. So multiplying fractions, first I'll multiply my numerators. One times three is three. And then I'll multiply my denominators. Two times four is eight. So the probability of one of the offspring having green feathers and a long beak is 3 out of 8.